November and who our candidate will be next November. And it's becoming increasingly uh, likely, I think, that John McCain is going to be the Republican candidate. Now, here's what, here's what we have to be thinking about. Who will be tough enough and strong enough and who can compete against John McCain in every place in America? Uh, you know, I believe, I believe that I won't just be here campaigning in the South Carolina primary. When I'm the Democratic nominee, I'll be back in South Carolina campaigning in the general election. And we can't concede places like South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Missouri, all these places around America where we know, everyone knows, that we always do well, all three of us have been through this, we always do well in Chicago or New York or Los Angeles, uh, Seattle, we do well in the big urban areas. The question is, are we competitive in the rural areas, in the tougher places for Democrats to compete? And the only thing I would say, and I think it has nothing to do with race and gender, let me be really clear about that. Uh, it's, it's amazing now that being the, the white male is getting all, <laughs> feeling all defensive about it. John, it's, it's all right, man. It's, 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 uh, it's different. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is being able to go, being able to go everywhere in America and campaign uh, and to compete. Uh, and I grew up in, in, rural, in the rural South, in small towns all across the rural South. And I think I can go everywhere and compete head to head with John McCain. And the, actually, the last time I saw one of your polls that had all three of us against John McCain, I was the one that beat John McCain everywhere in America. And I think we need to be able to have a candidate when people are voting. It's not the only consideration. Lord knows if you don't agree with what we stand for and you don't believe in us as our character and our, our ability to lead this country, you should not vote for us no matter what it means for the general election. But if you believe our, in our passion, our strength, our toughness, our independence, from these special interests. I've never taken any money from a Washington lobbyist or a special interest pack, which is different than, than these two guys over our whole career. Uh, but I, what I would say is that I think what that means is I can go anywhere in America and compete against John McCain and win. We, we have to take a quick break, but we have a lot more to talk about, much more of this presidential debate here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, when we come back. Welcome back to the Democratic presidential debate here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I just want to uh, alert our viewers out there. There's a raging discussion going on on CNNPolitics.com. People from around the country, they're writing in, they're sending their thoughts. You might want to be interested in following that at CNNPolitics.com. Uh, we have more questions from Susanna and Joe, but you wanted to make a quick point, Senator. Well, I, I think John's absolutely right about needing to compete everywhere. Uh, but I, I think it's very important uh, to, to take a look. I, the polls I've seen have been different, John, but you know, we, we can debate polls. Uh, the polls I've seen shows me beating John McCain and every other Republican candidate. But, uh, but I also think that, you know, take a look at what happened in Nevada, uh, where in northern Nevada, uh, in places like Elko, uh, I won by 30 points. And we were attracting independents and some Republicans. Uh, you know, this is the same way that I was able to win the election uh, in Illinois, going to downstate Illinois. So I, I think it's important for us not to assume that uh, we can't reach out to people of all, uh, of, of, of all persuasions. And, and I want to right. just take one, one last example on this, and that is on the issue of faith. Uh, you know, uh, I, I am a, uh, a proud Christian, and the... I think there have been times, there have been times where our Democratic Party uh, did not reach out as aggressively as we could to evangelicals, for example, because the assumption was, well, they don't agree with us on choice or they don't agree with us on gay rights, and so we just shouldn't show up. And when you don't show up, if you're not come, going to church, then you're not church, talking to church folk. Uh, and that means that uh, people who have a very right-wing perspective in terms of what faith means end up defining uh, our faith. Uh, and right. uh, as somebody uh, you know, uh, who, who believes deeply in the precepts of, of, of Jesus Christ, particularly treating the least of these uh, in a way that he would, 
that it is important for us to not concede that ground. Because if we, I think we can go after those folks and get them. All right, Suzanne has a question on faith to all of you. So let, 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 let me let me just get in here because there are a lot of polls showing that I'm beating them hard, you know, higher than anybody else. I don't think that has, I don't think frankly that has much well, to that's, that's much to well, recommend at this far from an election. If John is right and Senator McCain is the Republican nominee, we know that once again we will have a general election about national security. That is what will happen. I believe of any one of us, I am better positioned and better able to take on John McCain or any Republican when it comes to issues about protecting and defending our country and promoting our interests in the world. And if it is indeed the classic Republican campaign, I've been there. I've done that. They've been after me for 16 years, and much to their dismay, I am still here. And I intend to be still here when that election comes around and we win in November 2008. I, I just want to add that so I think it's I do I don't think it's about polls either Hillary by the way but I do but I do think it is about fundamental differences between us and them and uh, this is a difference that you and I have uh, you know I think that John McCain has made central to his to his time in public life and his campaign uh, campaign finance reform and cleaning up the money in politics and I think it's dangerous for us to send somebody against him who presents a contrast to what he represents. And I'm proud of the fact that I've never taken money from a Washington lobbyist or a special interest pack. And I have a question. I have a question that, that I'm interested in hearing you respond to. You've talked a lot about day one. I've committed, I don't know what Brock said about this, but I've committed not to have any corporate lobbyists working in my White House when on the first day that I'm president. Will you make the same commitment? Well, you know, John, I will make a commitment to have people in the White House who are honest and trustworthy and put the interests of the United States first. But is I that, think is that, is you, that a no? You know what? I don't know. I don't know because I'm not in favor of corporate lobbyists, but you keep drawing these artificial distinctions. You take money from people who employ lobbyists, who are married to lobbyists, who are the children of lobbyists, and you know, at some point this gets really hard to take what? because if you are Someone like I am who has withstood the full force of corporate lobbyists, starting with the health insurance companies and the drug companies and the oil companies and everybody that I've taken on for all of these years, you know, I think I'm independent and tough enough to be able to deal with anybody, and that's what but I intend to people, do. Those people, though, the, here, here's, here's the problem, Hillary. Everybody's listening. They can, they can make their own judgment about this. They don't have to depend on us. When somebody gives you millions and millions of dollars, I think they expect something. I don't think they're doing it for well, nothing. Well, John, trial lawyers let, let, have let, given you let, millions let, let and me. millions of dollars. And so. what they expect from yeah, me yeah. is they expect me to stand up for democracy, for the right to jury trial, for the right for little people to be heard in the courtroom, and that is exactly what I stand up for. That is not the same thing. That is not the same thing as corporate lobbyists who are in there every single day lobbying against the interests of middle class Americans. And I think we need a president who can stand up. We have a difference about this. You're entitled to your view, but we have a real difference no, about it. No, we don't have a real difference. Where we stand is, where I stand is for public financing. I'm going to do everything I can to get public financing, to get the money out of American politics. But it, you know, Barack has a lot of lobbyists who are leading his campaign here in South Carolina. John has had lobbyists who've been working hard for him all of these years. What? The point is that you've got to say no. You've got to say no. Let, let, let and me, yes, I think that uh, we will say no consistently in order to have a positive agenda that is actually going to make a difference. Do you have to stand up to the lobbyists? Yes. But the lobbyists represent the interests that are paying the lobbyists. So to Would go like and to focus on the lobbyists, you know, that misses the point. Let, 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 let me just interject on this. Uh, uh, Hillary, you're right. Nobody's hands are perfectly clean, uh, you know, in, in, in politics. That, that, that is true. I mean, there is a distinction, though, between uh, not taking uh, PAC and federal lobbyist money and, and having that as a major way of driving your campaign. Uh, and having uh, some ancillary involvement. But, but you know, I, I don't want to go down that route. What, what I want to really focus on is this issue of national security, because I, I think you've repeated this a number of times. Uh, you are the person best prepared uh, on national security issues on day one, and so if you're running against John McCain, that you can go to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I fundamentally disagree with that, and, and I, I want to tell you why. Because I believe that the way we are going to take on somebody like a John McCain on national security is not that we're sort of, we've been sort of like John McCain, but not 
completely. You know, we voted for